the Season 5 cast of Virgin River was joined by Candace McClure. After binge-watching the Season 4 release in July, viewers are already curious to meet this new character. Virgin River was the most-watched streaming show in its first full week, according to Nielsen. It may be about the scenery, the charming characters, or even just the fictional world Virgin River brings to the screen. Join us in this video as we bring you 11 behind-the-scenes facts about Virgin River. First up, why the author of Virgin River decided to go with Netflix. The FT300 fetal Doppler. After 12 weeks, we can monitor the baby's heart rate whenever we want. Virgin River is based on the ultra-successful books by Robin Carr. The books have sold more than 13 million copies, and the impact of the stories has even triggered an academic paper on the sensation it caused. There was immense hype for the series of Virgin River books. It generated much interest among production companies and streaming platforms, but nothing came off the ground. Netflix was going through changes to make space for Hallmark-type content, and Carr knew the streaming platform had exactly the kind of tone she envisaged for the story. This is according to Entertainment Weekly. Carr called Netflix a little edgier and thought that would be a perfect fit. Virgin River is an entirely fictional town. It has only 600 residents. The author said in an Entertainment Weekly interview that she was forever receiving questions about the town's location and letters from fans saying they want to visit, but she says she has to remind them that it only exists in their hearts and minds. The real Virgin River, however, is a tributary of the Colorado River. It passes through Arizona, Nevada, and Utah. Carr is from Minnesota, but also lived in Utah, Arizona, Nevada, and California, which may well have inspired the setting. Did you know Mel's Cabin is the home of a park caretaker? And Virgin River is not the only show it's ever been featured on. Supernatural's been there, and The Flash has filmed there too. Stay with us, we'll give you the lowdown in a moment. Also, the show was filmed in Canada, not Northern California. Los Angeles costs are high. The result is that many shows, Supernatural for instance, are filmed in Vancouver or Hollywood North instead. In the story, the town of Virgin River is in Northern California, and the scenery looks like it, but in actuality, it is filmed in Canada and studio lots. Good Housekeeping also wrote that the show uses Snug Cove in Bowen Island, Burnaby, as well as Port Coquitlam as settings. If you'd like to see more about the sets, take a gander over to the show's official Insta page. It has clips of the crew getting ready for scenes and even the cast on set. The one thing that is real is Jack's Bar. It's actually the Watershed Grill in Brackendale. This iconic venue is the Virgin River Community Center Point. It has great food, and the gossip inside is hot. Pivotal plot twists also happen here. While the Jack's Bar interior is a studio set, the exterior is the Watershed Grill in British Columbia. This is according to Tourism Vancouver. A few scenes were filmed at the Watershed Grill, however, and these give fans a peek at the incredible views Virgin River showcases. And real fans can have a meal at the restaurant while admiring the Squamish River below. And believe it or not, Mel's Cabin is the home of a park caretaker. Have I told you how beautiful you are? I mean, not since this morning, so... Oh. Yes, this is true. Mel's home used to be the home of a park caretaker on the north shore of Vancouver in Murdo Fraser Park. There was a high demand for this cabin to be used as a television set, so it was restored for this purpose. The structure was first built in 1951, the state bought it in 1969, and Hollywood saw it in the late 80s. Since then, it has been featured in shows like Psych, The Flash, Supernatural, and Once Upon a Time. So, the storybooks allow Virgin River fans to escape into romance. The story has both intimate moments and and steamy scenes. Sue Tenney decided to create more tension by creating a longing between Mel and Jack, and that's the reason they don't sleep together until season two. If you remember, they don't even kiss until season one, episode eight. Although it deviates from the books, the author liked Tenney's creative decision, and she also likes the show's plot twists that help to translate the story to a better on-screen experience for fans. Martin Henderson and Alexander Breckenridge are great friends in real life. To find out more about their friendship, stay with us. Now, did you know Virgin River's narrator is actually on the show. I'll call Tara and see if she's home. No, I, I, I just want to visit Lily. If you prefer to listen to Virgin River on audiobook, you will hear a major crossover. Teresa Plummer, an award-winning audiobook narrator, reads the audiobooks, but she is also an actor in the series. Plummer has narrated around 300 audiobooks, and she's been nominated for five audio awards. She's also guest starred on The Good Wife. Carr invited her onto Facebook so fans could ask her questions. Executive producer Roma Roth actually has to do the show. In an interview with Carr, she explained why. She saw the show as a community and was looking for something different from regular television 
television shows at the time. Most television fare at that stage was dark thrillers, and she wanted something with gravitas, something like Virgin River. She knew the show would make people feel good, and that's what so many quotes prove. Also, Martin Henderson and Alexander Breckenridge get along exceedingly well. Fans love Mel and Jack's romance, so it's easy to understand whether the actors have a good relationship when the cameras aren't on them. The on-screen chemistry implies they have. The list recently confirmed they have a great relationship, something that will delight fans. Breckenridge said during an interview that she's really good friends with Martin Henderson and Zibby Allen. They're her people and the cast members she hangs out with. How about doing a screen detox with a series of best-selling Virgin River novels? Many fans are doing this, but you have to be aware that the stories and characters in the novels are slightly different from the TV show. Keep watching to find out how. And Martin Henderson says season 5 is his favorite. The first four seasons of Virgin River had such dramatic storylines and such sweet relationship moments that fans are chomping at the bit to see if season 5 can actually be better than that. Henderson said to Glamour that season 5 episodes were his favorites. He called it the best season yet in a recent interview. Now, Henderson backflipped while filming one scene in season 4, bet you didn't know that. The Virgin River cast obviously enjoys their time on set. While the cast was filming, according to Entertainment Weekly, Henderson did a backflip and hurt himself. Annette O'Toole said he backflipped over a hay bale. Henderson added that it was entirely uncoordinated and it will be the last stunt of his career. He jokingly referred to Tom Cruise setting the bar so high and then he could do no better than land on his head. To find out the actual lowdown about Charmaine's babies, watch the end. Meanwhile, if you want to do a screen time detox, now is the time. Many fans are ultra curious about how the experience of the books compares to that of the series. Netflix is big on book adaptations for their series at the moment. But before you rush to a bookstore and buy every available Virgin River title, know that the book and the series don't correlate completely. There are many differences between the two. Vanessa, for instance, is a character in the books but not in the TV show. Virgin River has many strong relationships and romances in the novels that don't make it onto the show. Another aspect where the TV show and the books differ is the timeline. Four seasons of the show have come and gone, and one year has passed since Mel returned to Virgin River. The books, however, span a larger segment of time, simply because books can do that. In the books, Lizzie is pregnant, and she's one of Virgin River's best characters. And in the books, she falls pregnant in her early high school years. Her plotline is dramatic from the get-go, so it makes a degree of sense that this wasn't included in the show. Finally, Charmaine's babies aren't Jack's in the books. There's no question about Charmaine's baby's paternity in the TV show. It is generally accepted that they're the offspring of her former lover, Jack. In the book, however, Charmaine falls pregnant, but the twins have a different biological father. This is a biggie that fans of the show should be aware of when they start reading the novels. Also, Mel suffers much in the books and the TV series. Her world was rocked in both by the passing of her husband. She's haunted by his death and has a whole lot to work through both in the novels and on the screen. In the books, he dies when he gets caught in the crossfire when a convenience store gets robbed. But in the show, he dies in a car accident. How great is it to get a dual experience of the Virgin River stories and characters with both the TV series and the best-selling novels? Many fans are doing both, and according to all reports, that's more than worthwhile. And on that note, we end this video, folks. Thanks for joining us. We're looking forward to connecting with you again in our next upload.